Good morning, everybody. Oh man, I look like an ape. Today I thought I would do a video to keep me motivated, mostly because I have stuff to do today and I won't do it unless I record it. So, first things first, let's make a list of what we have to do today. Um, I got up about half an hour ago and I'm dressed at least, so that's a plus. Paper, got a pen. So, my drugstore automatically refills my prescriptions, which is wonderful for someone like me. Because when you're almost running low, you get a text saying, hey, your prescription's been refilled. So it was refilled probably four days ago, so I should probably go pick that up. Now, I'm not a bad dog owner, but Rosie was out of food yesterday. The bag, not the bowl, the bowl was full. So, she just finished her food this morning. So I need dog food. Ugh, it's already so much on there already. God. Now, I had a friend over yesterday for a lot of the day, so a lot of cleaning didn't get done yesterday. So my apartment's looking a little trashy. So, clean. And I'm just gonna put clean because I don't wanna set standards for myself that I can't reach, so we're just gonna leave it at clean. Maybe litter box, that's, that's, uh, that's, if you watch my most recent video, you know that that litter box needs to be done a lot. Ah. I should take Rosie for a pee right now. So yeah, this is my morning. I am out of school and unemployed right now. So I start my new job at the end of the month. I'm shooting a wedding this weekend. All right, so usually um, after I get up, this is what I do. Just quickly make a list of what I have to do for today. That's a lie, that's not every morning. That's just mornings where I actually wanna do something. I thought maybe it would be a good idea to get some of these things done considering they need to be done, even though I don't want to do them, but I'm gonna. Okay, first thing I'm probably going to have to do is take my dog outside for a pee. And this is more of a task because I'm in an apartment, so there's like a hallway, and then stairs, and then another hallway, and then people, you know, that you might have to talk to. I mean, it's 9.30, so I guess human communication wouldn't be too bad right now. It's not too early. <whistles> All right, fine, let's just go. Rosie. <whistles> Come on. Okay, I doubt I'll need this sweater. It's just cold in here. Hey, what's the temperature outside? 25, and we use Celsius here. Such a casual vlogging camera. Let's move on. Time to pee. Yes, queen, that didn't take long at all. Thank God. Okay, I need to just show you guys this. So Calvin will chill by the door, just waiting to be let out. So watch. And what does he do? He just goes out and lays in the hallway. Come on. Strange cat. Take Rosie out. Done. Oh, God. You know what my problem is? I haven't had any coffee yet. Let's make some coffee. All right, so the kettle's on. Now, all you need is a French press and folders. Each cup is important to us. That's why we specifically roast each bean at the right temperature to release rich flavors and aromas. Not spots. So you just put like, you know, that much? That much, you know? Maybe like this, a little bit more. And uh, Kevin told me apparently you're supposed to put cold water. He it brews better in cold water. That makes no sense to me, but I guess it just sits there. I'm not wasting any coffee. We're just waiting for this to boil. Anytime that wants to hurry up, that'll be great. I can't find a cup big enough. Oh, this will work. Okay, that sounds pretty hot, so that's just gonna have to be good enough. Now we have to wait four minutes. Hey, we'll set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. So I'm just gonna start preparing my coffee because I don't really like hot coffee all too much. 
I'll drink it, but I would prefer it iced. So that's what we're gonna do today. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Don't come for me. Sugar. It's not a lot of sugar anyway. Hey, how much time is left? T minus one minute and 29 seconds. Oh, God. Shut up. Oh, shit. That is the most fun. And in Canada, this is how we have our milk. In a bag. There's not enough room for my ice. Uh, shit. Oh, just like Emma Chamberlain says, Mason hers. All right, let's split this coffee into two coffees without spilling it. Oh, see? Not a drop. Why well, don't... I mean, I didn't split it in half evenly either. Well... <laughs> okay, now we're clean. I think I'm gonna keep the one with the lesser amount of coffee out and stick this one in the fridge. And I made it extra strong just... <sighs> I made it extra strong just to take into account the ice melt should be okay. Now I'm not gonna spill any more. Ah! And then we'll just add a little bit more milk. feels warm still, so that's great. Okay. Oh. That's better. Okay, so that's done. So how's everybody doing today? I don't wanna go anywhere. It's so peopley outside. All right, let's go get some dog food. All right, we switched to my phone just because that giant camera would be a huge pain in the ass to bring with me. Better. I'm bringing my coffee with me. Okay. Coffee. Let's go. Oh look! Okay, it works. I'll just drink it fast. We made it to the car with very little human interaction. Now, we turn on the air conditioning and we go get some dog food. We made it to the pet store and I briefly forgot about Canada's new driving laws. So, it is illegal to eat and drive, I'm pretty sure now. And I'm not sure where we stand with drinking. A non-alcoholic beverage, I think, is illegal now as well. And I'm pretty sure the fine is $1,500 for your first time, so. I drove through a ride program with a cop standing outside drinking this, and he didn't say anything, so let's just go get some dog food. All right, I got the food, let's go home. Hey! Okay, that's done. Now let's feed it. Oh, ah. She free feeds, so we don't really measure. She's not even hungry yet. She'd rather people food. That reminds me, we can't be giving her any more people food now that she's run out of her allergy pills. She gets her last one today, and they're so expensive, so I can't afford to buy them right now. So, no people food while we're out of your allergy pills. I'm so sorry, but I can't give you anything. <laughs> All right, so now Rosie's been fed. I cleaned the litter box off camera because, ew. I tidied the living room a little bit, and I'm not getting my prescriptions today. I'll get them tomorrow. <laughs> so just gonna scratch that off. Now all I have to do is do my skin routine, teeth whitening routine, and have a shower. No rush, right? So I'll show you guys how I get ready for everyday stuff and the products I use. So let's go. I think I'm gonna vacuum as well. A 
All right, so the vacuuming's done. That was easy. God bless having a robot vacuum, because I just don't think I'd have the gumption to do it every day. Now let's get ready. Second coffee. We're in my bathroom. First thing, I will put this on. Total beauty guru. Dead Sea mud mask. The ingredients in this are wonderful. Dead Sea mud minerals, organic aloe vera juice, shea butter, organic green tea, coconut oil, vegetable glycerin, jojoba oil. Organic? Yeah. You know what? There's a lot of big words and I don't feel like doing it, so. This is just a clay base mask and I have really acne prone, oily skin, so you're supposed to use a clay mask. Apparently once or twice a week if you have that kind of skin. I don't know, okay? I, this is just what I do. So I shake it and whatever ends up on the lid is usually what I use, like I use all of the lid. I've been growing out my hair, so we're gonna have to put that up. Ooh, ooh. Okay, the hair is up, the mask will be applied now. Luckily enough for me, I shaved a couple days ago and I was blessed with having super sensitive skin. So I have this beautiful razor burn shadow. It's quite lovely. I don't know if you should put a clay mask over top of razor burn, but I'm gonna. Pretty much just used everything on the lid and that's it. This has lasted me quite a long time too. Now I usually leave this for like 30 minutes to 40 minutes to whenever I get around to getting in the shower. So we're just gonna let this bake and dry my face out and then we'll be back. Okay, so it's dry. It's so itchy too. Ew. It crumbles when you scratch it. Now I'm gonna get in the shower and wash it off. So right now I'm using the function of, function of? I forget what it's called, but it's that function of where you can create your own shampoo and conditioner based on your needs. So right now we've got function of Josh. My hair's blonde right now. So we've got purple shampoo. I'm also using this on my skin in the shower right now and Dove soap because I am sensitive and I need the extra moisturizer. I think tanning in the tanning bed earlier this summer, probably not the best idea for my skin. No more tanning beds. All right, the shower's running. Now it's time to get in it. All right, so I'm fresh out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair today because I washed it yesterday. This is what we're dealing with, spaghetti noodles. And I know you're not supposed to brush your hair fresh out of the shower. It's so frizzy, just split endy since I bleached it. And I need to get a trim as well as I want to clean up the back of my head. All these little baby hairs. I'd like them shaved. Now we got all the hair out of the way. My secret ingredient to my morning routine is hydrogen peroxide. A little dangerous, but whatever. I put the shit right on my face. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. It is said that hydrogen peroxide breaks apart and dissolves the sebum, which is what clogs your pores and gives you breakouts. That's too much. And now what I do, I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna moisturize this razor burn that I have here. I have a little bit of a razor burn right here. I usually just moisturize that a little bit. Now we put on some Dodoran. Squirt of cologne. I don't know what that is, whatever it is. I think it's from Hollister. It's almost empty. What else do I do? Oh, my teeth! Time to get rid of this coffee breath. We've got Crest 3D White. See, my Philips Sonicare toothbrush died, so I'm using a manual right now, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now, some people are shocked but take your hydrogen peroxide and dip your tongue brush in it. You put it right on your tongue. You see it foam? That, ladies and gents, is how you get rid of a stained tongue, especially if you love coffee. Now I got my toothpaste in here and I'm also gonna dip this in the hydrogen peroxide and brush my teeth with it. Now that shit for a bit to whiten my teeth. Ah. And that's the only thing I really do to uh, whiten my teeth. I don't do that every day, but probably every other day. See how nice that is. Now I'm gonna get my socks on. All right, and usually every day or every other day, I come through with tweezers and just touch up my eyebrows because my eyebrows grow back really fast, really fast, and they grow back everywhere. Let's just do a run through and make sure there's no little hairs that wanna piss me off today. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Don't you hate pinching yourself with tweezers like this? Fucking hurts. All right, that's enough. I think that's just where we're gonna draw the line today. But now that I'm all ready, let's get out of the bathroom first. We're ready for the day now, and it's only 2.30 p.m., so that's great. <sighs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed this weird vloggy get ready with me errand running video thing that this was. If you guys liked this video, be sure to click that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on my notifications. Like, comment, view, share, and follow me everywhere. Bye guys!